Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create a turbo effect by a car. So we use our car from the previous tutorial and I prepared two things here. So we have an, a flame effect for the turbo and we have also a sound effect for the turbo. So first of all let's create an input that we have a um, button where you can press and then get the turbo. So first of all let's go to the project settings input hit plus and we say turbo. Let's put this on left shift by the way whatever, whatever you want. So then we go to our test car get some free space here and say turbo. So what else we want is we need two variables. So first one will be the turbo boolean and the turbo value that will be a float. So the turbo value is a value that the player can use for the turbo effect and when it's empty then you have to fill it up. So first of all we get our turbo boolean out and say set and duplicate that, on press it's true and release it's false so we can check if the player has pressed and released the turbo. So we get it out here and say get then we get the turbo value out as well and then we need a branch put this into true and what we want to check is when we go here be sure that the turbo value is 100 or whatever you want and then we have to check float is bigger than another float in this case it already checks if it turbo effect is still over zero and then we put this into the condition so the next thing is that we have want to check if the turbo is pressed so we need another branch and go from the true into another branch and here's just the turbo into the condition so it already checks is the turbo value over zero and is the turbo button pressed so the next thing we need is we need our match so we just pull it out here and then we say get component velocity and we go right click on the return value split structure pin and then we need a function called add force because we and for the mesh so add force just push the car forward when the player hit the turbo button so on force we have say right click uh, split structure pin as well put the mesh into the target and from here we go from true into force then we put the z into z the, this one we say float multiplied with float copy this one put the x as well inside here put it into the x value so and we say multiplied by 2 and this one also 2. So um, when the function will be activated the mesh um, get the actual velocity and multiply the x and y value with 2. So now we have to check this boolean here so this is for that the mass of the car is not affecting the force so that we can push forward otherwise the car is too heavy. So now we take our turbo value and say set and get and we go from the turbo value and say float minus float leave it to 1 put it right here so when the force is applied every time it will um, subtract 1 from the 100 and when you repeat that then it will be go to 0 
So we go from out from here and say re-triggable delay. Put this to 0 0.1 and from the complete we go back to our first branch. So what it does is when the player hit the turbo and just hold it, then it's still true and then it always checks if the turbo value is over zero and then it applies force um, go from the 100 and to 99 and again and again and reachable delay always put this to check if the uh, turbo button is still pressed and if the turbo value is still over zero so let's check if it works so we go out here hit play in the car take a look and we drive forward when we press shift you can see it is much faster and when we still hit it you can see car goes forward and much more speed okay so the next two things we want to add is some effects that we can see the turbo. So the first thing will be a um, particle system. Go for the torch fire. Call this turbo effect. Go to the viewport. And then we Take this one, put it right here, like that, and like this one. Yeah, you can design it however you want. No, it looks okay. So compile and save that. Then we say visible it hit false so it didn't show up the whole time so we go to unplug the true and then we go outside get our turbo effect then we say set visibility and go from the true inside here set this to true go at the force and then we go from our false case as well and duplicate this function here put this into the target and as well from the set turbo inside here so when the turbo effect is released then it hit the visibility to false of course and then the turbo effect is always visible when the player hits the turbo effect. So let's check if it works. So here and now if we hit shift you can see yeah works pretty good every time I hit it. Okay so the next thing let's add some audio effect so let's go from here and say audio let's call this turbo underscore sound put this to here and when we go to details we can select the sound effect so let's select our prepared effect put the volume multiplier to zero and then we go back to our event graph, pull out the turbo sound, say set volume multiplier and in this case we want to set it to zero. Then let's copy this one and in this case we want to put it to 0 0.5. Pull out the target inside here and go back to force. So now we have a um, turbo effect and the turbo sound. So let's check if it works, compile and save that, hit play. 
go inside a car, driving forward and when we hit shift. Yeah. Works pretty good. So the last thing I want to show you is that we have a progress uh, process bar that shows um, how much turbo we have left. So let's create a HUD for that. So right click blueprint class and search for HUD. Call this turbo. Then we say user interface widget blueprint. In this case turbo widget. Open this up. Search for progress bar. Put it out right here like that. And when you hit the percent you can see it works pretty good for this case. So let's call this turbo. Compile and save that. Then we go to our turbo hut. You can delete this one. Then we say event receive draw hut. Then we go from here and say get owning pawn. Go out here, cost to our test car. Put this inside here. Then we say create widget. Select our turbo widget. We go from our test car and say get turbo value. Multiply, uh, sorry, defeat the float by 100 because it is percent. And then we go from our return value and say get turbo. That is our progress bar. And we say set percent. Put this inside here, and this inside here. So then we go from our return value from the create toll widget and say add to viewport. Put this inside here. Okay. So compile and save that. And then we go to our project settings, maps and modes, and select our new HUD. And we hit play and we can test it. So we go into our car, you can see the progress bar in the left corner. So then we drive forward and hit shift. You can see every time I hit it, it works. Great! So uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye!